Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. <laughs> Sorry, I just love saying Chandelar. I don't know what's what, is something wrong with me. Should I be worried? Anyway, um, I'm still on green, right? Although I'm adding more red, I have to admit that. Um, let's have a look. What am I doing? Ah, uh, Unicorn Spire. Okay. Let's see, I found some Shivan Dragons, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, two Shivan Dragons. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess my plan is to go to... Ooh, I can trade white amulets for any land, should I? I've got 11. Anyway, I'm going to think about it. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. You know who it is? 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and I'm back. And um, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, let's see how expensive Taiga is. Let's see. Uh, let's, so we gotta go to green, obviously. Taiga, ooh, I only need one more. You know what? I'll trade. But that's it. That's it. That's all I'll do. Let's quickly put the Taiga in. The thing is with white amulets, the reason um, I don't want to trade them is because they're so good. Whenever a city is under attack, I can teleport, but it costs me a white amulet every time I do it. Um, but it's super good because I can be there really quick. Um, let's have a look. Let's go Taiga. Let's put a Taiga in. Let's take out, I guess, a forest, right? I've got six forests now. I'm liking my mana base, to be honest. I think it's good. It's an, expen it's an expensive deck, though. Um, talking to the man. Let's see, where am I at? I'm now here, so the White Castle's actually pretty close. Do I have any anti-white cards? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Do I have Flesh Fires, for example? I don't think so. Nope. Nope. Um... You know what? I'm going to do some more fighting. Maybe I'm not going to do the White Castle. Maybe I should just pick another one. I don't want to do blue. I don't want to run into that horrible... What's it called again? That changes um, the permanence. A horrible card. Horrible horrible sound effect as well. Um, you know what? I'm just going to travel upwards nonetheless. I'm just going to go upwards. See what happens. Upwards we go. Oh, wait, I can find, find you. Accept tribute, sure. Oh, look at that. I wanted to accept tribute, but I gotta fight him. Okay, that's odd. Start the duel. What do I have? Um, forest, taiga, untamed wilds, two giant spiders, a trike, a hurricane. Okay, so this is really a hand where you're like, okay, I have to you know, find that third land to start casting the Untamed Wilds, get into four, and then I can cast the spiders. Okay, Lanowar Elves is fine, that does the same. So I can go Lanowar next turn, I can play spider. But that was odd, wasn't it? I said accept tribute and I'm still battling. That is, um, yeah, special. Timberwolves. So forest. Oh wow, look at that, I can cast everything. I think I'm gonna go for an untamed though. Um, let's go for a mountain. And we're gonna pass. I mean, I'm gonna take another hit of two, but hopefully if I draw into a land next turn, I can cast a Triskelion. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty big. It's so funny what the AI does, right? So you give it a holy strength and you give it a giant growth, but you're not attacking with it. This would actually be pretty decent if it would have just attacked. I would be on 15. Uh, oh, okay, this is nice. So I can cast Lana Elves and I can play Giant Spider. And then I have a blocker, so it's pretty good. Even if he attacks in a band, then the four toughness will uh, 
We'll save you. Hey, now I can start casting trikes. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a little sneaky. I'm first going to attack. So he doesn't know that I have to trike yet. Exactly. Now he's going to block. Now I'm going to play the trike. And now I can place, of course, the trike on the two creatures. And that's it. We've got an empty board. Ah, oh, tone to draw cards. Um, just gonna attack with these two. I'm gonna play another trike. And the next turn I can attack for eight. And I can shoot him for four. So. If he doesn't play a blocker, I can basically win this. I also have the hurricane, by the way. So, yeah, it's pretty much a done deal here. Oh, force of nature. Oh, that is a good one. Um, let's think for a moment. He's on twelve. Let's first see what we draw here. We get a forest. Um, <coughs> if I attack with everything, he's probably going to block the four four. Um, and I can take those counters off, so I could then deal him three, five, seven, eight damage, and then play Hurricane. So that should work. So I'm gonna go attack with these creatures. Let's see what he does. Exactly. So now before damage is dealt, which is quite nice about the trike. Just click this away for a sec. Exactly, now he takes the damage. Now my trike dies, he takes four more damage. I mean, the, tr the trike counter is so good because it's so versatile. And now I've dealt four damage and now I can just cast a hurricane for four. So I guess I could have attacked with the Lonowars as well. You know what, I'm just gonna tap them out too. They're gonna join the party. Huge hurricane for the win! I want, oh, I want a white amulet back. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, let's go up. Trade green amulets for any sorceries. Are there? Oh, I need an ice storm. Okay. Let's see. Ice storm. Yes, I'll trade. Oh, only three left though. My deck is like really like nearing its completion, which is pretty cool. Um, so I gotta put ice storm in. Three untamed wild sylvan crowworm cockatrice. Force. This is the thing. What are you gonna take out? Um, maybe I like giant spider. Giant spiders have been good to me. Maybe just play with one force. Let's go one force. I know people are like, no, don't do it. Force is so cool. I agree, but I'm trying to find a new balance here. Ooh, defeat the elvish magi. I can do that, I think. I guess the Elfish Magi is in the... Exactly, there he is! Come here, you. Good. Duel! Ooh, maybe I should have changed the ante, by the way. That's the thing, I click and then I think. I don't know if you recognize this. I actually do that in real magic, too. I play the card and I'm like, oh man, why, why did I do that? That's one of the reasons why I don't do takesy backsies a lot because I want to learn from it. You know, when I make a mistake, I'm like, okay, it's my mistake. Got to own up to it. Um, play a forest. Um, let's go mountain. So now I've got an untaped wilds and an ice storm, but I'm missing that ramp. So I think what will be great is, of course, a mox ruby and a mox emerald in this deck. Um, I, you know what? Here the question is always: Are you gonna go for the for the ramp, or are you gonna go for the um, land destruction? In this case, I'm gonna go for land destruction for two reasons. I already have lands in hand, so that's gonna work out. I don't need more lands at the moment. Um, and also, ice storm. The earlier you play the ice storm, usually the better it is when you talk about wanting to make a tempo play. So when I turn I, when I play an ice storm turn three, it has more impact than when I do it on on turn four. But for me, 
Untamed Wilds or Ice Storm, it's both a tempo play. So there's the second forest. Okay. Um, Taiga. So now I am going to go for the Untamed Wilds because I want to play Shiva next turn. Uh, let's see. We're going to go and get a mountain and pass the turn. Let's see what the elf can do on turn four with three lands. I haven't seen a lot of elves or any other elf. Okay, Wall of Brambles. So I'm gonna go Sheevan, play Sheevan. Fly over the wall with Sheevan. Do a lot of damage with Sheevan. Man, I'm a little bit bummed that I'm not seeing the other art. I know the other art's in here. Ooh, he also has Untamed Wild. Sweet, man. It's a good card. Uh, strip Mine. Let's see. If I pump three, I still have four mana left to play a Giant Spire, but I want to play a Cockatrice. You know what? I'm just going to attack, pump it for one. Or could I pump it for... I think I can pump it for two. Still have enough mana for the, uh, for the Cockatrice. Hey, yes. Let's play the Cockatrice. A pretty easy win, and I'm getting a free sorcery. What shall I get? What to get? I guess Wheel of Fortune is out of the question, right? It's one of those prize cards. Mm -hmm. Regrowth, I think also out of the question, but that would be nice as well. Ooh, he's got a way to block my flyer. That's annoying. Um, let's just attack. He's going to block the Shivan, I assume. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Play the spider. Has the turn, my friends. Hmm. Twenty two against three. There's a giant spider. Let's see. We've got a mountain. Is he going to survive another turn? That's amazing. How does he do that? That's so annoying. Um, I'm just going to attack with everything. Let's just see what he does. Yeah, I thought he would do this. It's on one. Okay. Uh, let's play Scimitar. You know what? I'm going to strip a land. Because then he doesn't have four anymore. He cannot keep casting the giant spiders. Even though, even with the spider. Oh, look at his stream of life. He really wants to stay alive. I think that's cool. Um, I'm going to play it on the brambles. Because why not? Wow. I have to say, my deck feels very powerful. Is it strong enough? I don't know. I mean, the, the, the deck has some issues, right? Because I need a lot of mana. That's one of the main issues. Okay, let's go back. Let's get a reward. The people are glad to be rid of the pesky elvish magi you're rewarded with. <laughs> Hurricane, rebirth, stream of life, tsunami, tsunami. Oh, wait, I know what card I need to get. Flash fires. Of course, also new art. That art's kind of okay, by the way. Flash fires, that's cool. Your quest will be added by collecting the world magics. A magic which may be useful is, is, and I need, oh, I hate these glitches, because I actually, I always used to talk to the wise man. Back in the day, when I was a little Tim. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to build a deck with walls, right? Just with walls and with, um, Wanderlust. Maybe you're wondering why? Just because. Because it's cool to do. Um, let's do white. Let's sell some stuff. Oh yeah, I'm black. Black is so bad. I got so many cool black cards. I guess I can sell this one. There's, there's got to be a moment when I have to sell all my black anyway. But... Uh, okay, let's leave the village. Let's see if we can do another quest. We're just gonna continue upwards. Upwards we go. 
by Cards and Hints. If you combine the Circle of Protection green with Force of Nature, you already have. You can avoid paying the upkeep and the Force and instead use the Circle, yeah. CLP green as a card, you can just do a lot of cool stuff with it. Gonna pay, gonna buy the Brass Man, I think it's good. Take a Red Enchantment spell east to the Keeper of Unicorns Bazaar. Okay, but I gotta check if I have a Red Enchantment. I think I do. So this takes out the creatures. This takes out the spells, right? Look how many I have. That's pretty cool. Okay, I can do that. Unicorn's Bazaar. Okay, where is Unicorn's Bazaar? Unicorn Spire. Oh, it's over there. Okay, it's nice. I gotta go move further upwards, which I wanted to do anyway. So I'm happy with that. Let's just go here to this village. Buy cards. Nothing here. Let's leave the village. No, somebody's attacking something again. Was, was blue amulet speed or was it tra teleportation and green the speed? Bettering Ram of Lure. Yeah, that's such a funny idea to destroy all walls. Bettering Ram and Lure. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, this card is so beautiful. I've got, the, I've got four betas. It's such a beautiful card. Love it. Um, should play with it. Should play with it. Okay, let's see. Unicorn's Bazaar. Oh, I'm very close. So then I'm going to go to the Bazaar and then I'm going to free that village. Hey! They're, they're happy with me, I guess. Uh, trade green amulets for green cards. Buy cards and hints. Wow! That's so cool. Living lands. I'm going to buy Living lands. Buy Regeneration. I think Regeneration could work in my... Um, uh, in my deck with uh, for Journey Shankers. Okay, I'm gonna leave the village and I'm gonna teleport to the village that's under attack. The Shapeshifter. Those who challenge the Great Blue Wizardess for supremacy of Anders Hold must duel the Shapeshifter. Let's duel! Okay. Uh, select, yeah, I can, I can be really mean. I can do 7-0. Shall I, shall I be mean? I'm going to be mean. Oh, it's an 07 now. Um, what to do? I mean, I do have a library in my hand, which is really good, but it is going to slow me down. But I'm going to go lower because then I can start drawing extra cards, hopefully finding a Lunar Elves or something. Hmm, the shapeshifter, it's not great. It, isn't she going to change it? Like, is she going to keep it in 07? It's a cool card. You can combine this with Dwarven Warriors. And like, Yurian, if you're watching this, he's the person that told me about this. So you can change your shapeshifter. Like, like for example, it's, um, it's a 2-5 in your upkeep. You make it unblockable with Dwarven Warriors. And after that, in that same upkeep... You make it a 6-1, and then you can just attack with it for 6. Oh my, more creatures. That is not great. Wait, I forget to draw a card. Oh, dang it. I'm so... That's, again, you know, me, I was just talking about it, right? Me clicking and then thinking. I need to turn that around. First think, then act. Oh, so much pressure. Look at this. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the damage. I'm going to draw a card before I forget. Draw a card. I'm going to take two. I know, it's going to hurt. Life's a resource. This is going to be a tough battle. I mean, next turn, i got a choice to make. I can go Untamed Wilds, but then I cannot use my Loa. Ooh! This is actually pretty good. I think I'm going to do that. Gonna go fire a lightning bolt. Uh, let's step a red. Kill the primal clay. And then I'm gonna pass. Oh, so that shapeshifter, whatever value I put in there, it's gonna stay that way. So it's gonna stay in 07 for the entire match. Okay. I'm gonna 
attack again. So attack again, I have the choice between animating uh, my factory or drawing a card. So I'm going to draw a card. <coughs> I mean, I have to say the shapeshifter is doing a good job. I mean, I'm on 17 already and I'm drawing really good. Okay, there is a flower stone. Um, let's go forest and then we're going to ramp up. No, no, not with that card. No. Why am I? So stupid. Um, we cannot do Taiga, of course. Let's do Mountain. Um, let's have a look. Let's just sort this again. Let's put this one here. At least I can. I'm just then gonna block next turn, I guess. Oh man, that's stupid. I need to do don't auto tap for the Loa. Don't auto tap this card. Change to assembly worker, done. done. Choose blockers. Oh, Oracle's Recall. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I like that, that's pretty cool. I think Oracle's Recall in general is a card that, you know, it's just really good because in, in old school, so many artifacts are being played. Okay, we've got nine cards in hand. Okay, um, let's go this one. Gonna go one, two, and three. Let's find a forest. Um, yay, we got a forest. Um, I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna take some more damage. I know, I know. I'm taking so much damage. But I almost have enough cards or a lance to cast a crawl worm. <laughs> yeah, next turn I can cast a crawl worm. That's cool. I'm just going to draw a card now before I forget. Ooh, a disc. That, di that disc is good, actually. I'm going to play the disc next turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's play my land. Let's play the disc. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna play the disc, and I now have a, uh, a lightning bolt, which is cool. So I can bolt the pesky factory. Da -da -da -da. I got like full control. I'm playing red green control here, it seems. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, draw a card. And I'm gonna lightning bolt. Yeah, this is perfect. I wonder if it's even good to use the Navnoral disc, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Let's. What can I do? Um. Taiga, let's draw a card. Let's pay one, let's destroy everything. Let's play a crawl worm. And then next turn I can attack crawl worm berserk. Oh man, unsummon! This is really cool about unsummon display, by the way. I really like it. I've got seven in handy unsummons. 
So now I have to recast again next turn and I'm gonna lose a card, which is pretty, pretty clever. So I'm gonna lose the giant spider, I guess. It was giant spider, often troll or scimitar, one of those. Maybe Lonora Elves, but I like Lonora Elves too much. Um, yeah, let's just go crawl around. Maybe he's gonna counter, whatever. Okay. Okay, you're not countering, fair enough. Uh, let's draw a card, because I also want to play out the elf. Let's so play out one of our elves. Okay, and now she's waiting too long with unsummoning, I feel. Like, if she would have waited until the end step, then I would have been forced to discard the uh, another card, so. Unsummon is really good. Like, I play Unsummon in the sideboards when I play against, like, fast black decks, when you go Dark Ritual into something, and then I just Unsummon that. Oh, this is a big dude. Okay, Earth's Adventure. Okay, okay. Um, draw a card. Oh, I could fireball this for four. Let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, done. One red. Four. Okay, let's, let's kill it. I'm going to draw a card with the Loa. We're going to play an Ice Storm on an island. And we're going to attack. I mean, if I play Ice Storm, at least then, you know, the Shapeshifter doesn't have six anymore to, like, cast something big. I love the themes of these decks, though, that she's, like, playing with, uh, with the Earth's Avenger and with the Shapeshifter. Oh, power struggle, no! No, not a power struggle. I guess I want to do the library before we have power struggle. Oh, man, this is so annoying. I know, I gotta click on power struggle. I, now I really have to speed up this game. I was like fine taking it easy, but now I really want to speed up the game. I'm gonna go Crawl Worm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Ice Storm. Oh man, if the Shapeshifter plays like, oh, there goes my library. This is so annoying. And then the sound effect. Okay, at least, at least uh, shape, the shapeshifter is not playing a, um, a creature. Because that would have been really bad. Would have been really bad. Um, okay. I am going to attack. With pretty much everything I have. This one this one and this one. And we're gonna play the Berserk. And hopefully deal 15 damage. Hey, and then we're gonna finish it with the Fireball. Done. Great. I guess technically I should have done Trike first if you counter Strike, then do Fireball for one. But okay, I was lucky, I guess. Hey, okay, I freed the village. Let's see where I am. Trade blue amulets for blue cards. No, thank you. Cards and hints. Again, the battering ram story. I'm just gonna save because it's 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 glitchy every now and then, you know. Uh oh, I'm here again. Wow, it's so funny. Like I can't move away from this part of the of the map. I want to see what's over there. Leave the village. Wow. Okay. I'm going to change the anti-card. I really don't want to lose Berserk. Let's duel. I guess this episode is just a little bit more about dueling before I go into another castle again. I do have the flash fires now, so... Maybe I need some crumbles as well, some artifact removal. Um, this is a pretty good hand, actually. I'm going to go forced into Lanover. And next turn, I can go land, soul ring, 
tap for GMD tone. Right? I think that's good. Uh, land. Soaring. Jam the tone. Passes the turn. Funny thing, when Antiquities came out, Ornithopter was seen as the most busted card because you would get a creature for zero. So people thought, ooh, this card is really overpowered and it also has flying. So it's not just a zero one, no, it's a zero two and it has flying. Um, let's do Taiga. I'm gonna go Crow Worm. I mean, turn three Crow Worm, that's pretty sweet. That is what this deck wants to do. Ooh, an unholy strength. Yeah, unholy strength on the Ornithopter, yeah. Back in the day. Ooh, now I've got a giant spider to block it. Um, let's just first attack with the Crow Worm. I guess I had enough mana to also attack with the, um, with the um, Lana Rails. Anyway, let's play the trike. They just overclass this uh, this dragon. Ooh, also has a book. Okay, gonna take some more damage. But now you're gonna take some damage. Um, do I need that mana? No, I don't. Let's just attack. 11 damage here, wow. The node is 7. Yeah, I couldn't have killed. I was looking, could I have killed killed him with Fireball and Lanora Elf still extra mana, but I would be one mana short, so. Oh, I could have killed him with Trike counters. Ah, and, I mean, I'm still winning, but I want to try to play as efficient as possible. Oh, well. Sapphire Falcon, it's the Falcon, sir. You know what, I'm gonna kill the Falcon. Um, I guess we just should just attack with everything. Well, not let's not attack with the Lana, let's just attack with these three. Okay, it's gonna drop to two and then I can play a Fireball. Let's be modest, let's just do a Fireball for two. Okay, look at all those cards. I gotta start selling stuff again. Just gonna walk, I'm just not doing anything. Just gonna walk straight, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm in the village. Buy cards. Oh, Crumble, yes. Titania Sun is such a cool card. I think I have it already, but still. Web could be good in my uh, For Journey Shantress deck. Which, I mean, I only have one For Journey Shantress, but still. Let's see, because I'm sure I gotta sell stuff. Reverse damage, super cool card. Counter spell. Wow, I'm getting a lot of money for my cards here. Ooh, Dark Pact. Oh, oh this is a format where I can play Dark Pact. That's so cool. Oh, I need to make a super anti deck, by the way. Anyway, take a Black Land spell south to the Keeper of Unicorn Spire. Again to Unicorn Spire? Where is, oh, that's over there again. Do I want to, I mean, I want to have a mana link, I guess. Do I want to do that? Sure, sure, I'll do it. I guess today is all about getting mana links, fighting enemies, and then I'll go in the castle next time. Hey, accept tribute, sure. A spell from my deck, yes, please. Force of Nature I've taken a few times. Um, do you have a Birds of Paradise? You do. We'll take the birds, please. Hey, there's Unicorn Spire. 
a fine black amulet. Grand. Battering ram and lure. Yeah, I've been. I feel. I feel like unicorn spire is is a place I've been so often. Return here and I will reward you with any land. Are there lands that I need? I will accept the quest. Why not? Why not? Gotta go to the Nether Fiend. Okay, where is the Nether Fiend? It's gotta be in the marsh, right? There's a Nether Fiend. Did you see that? The Nether Fiend was trying to hide from me. Okay, I'm gonna change anti card. I don't wanna lose the badger. Okay. Nether Fiend. Flipperty flip flop, flipperty flip flop. Ooh, Lanora Elves. I see, I see Lanora Elves, I'm happy. So I have Mountain City of Brass, Cockatrice, Strip Mine, Giant Badger, Lanora uh, Factory. So I can go City of Brass into Lanora. Gotta take a hit from the city. I feel like in, and I think I've, I've said that What's that last episode? I can't remember, but that City of Brass in, in, in Chandelar, play two max in your deck. I remember once building a deck with Sylvan Library, Surrender Pafrit, uh, and four cities of brass. Now that really, <laughs> that didn't work out well. Ooh, uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna go Factory. I'm gonna cast Giant Badger. And I think that the computer doesn't understand Giant Badger, doesn't see that blocking bonus it gets. So I think he's still gonna attack with the Knight and I can block with the Badger. And remember the Badger gets the bonus, becomes a 4-4 on blocking. Which is very flavorful if you've read the, uh, the book. Ooh, Shivan Dragon, and I've got the old art of Shivan, yes. I mean, the little things in life make me happy, right? This makes me happy. Hopefully when I cast it, it's gonna keep the uh, the cool art. Uh, but there's nothing really I can do now except for attack. I guess I should have animated my factory too. That's a mistake. Yeah, the wizard green sleeves called the giant badger to her aid. Okay, June and Afrit. Okay, okay. I like June and Afrit. It's a cool card. It's like it never makes the cut because of the upkeep cost, and in black it just doesn't work. Also because you want to have a Jews and Jin on turn four. Um, but it is so cool. It's a three-three flyer for three, which is just amazing stats. Uh, but it's also a bit of a nuisance in this case. Um, I guess I can do strip. But if I do this, I've got five. I can go cockatrice, which is better. Yeah, baby. Cockatrice, a two four. Mm -hmm. Ooh, animate that, okay. Not sure if I would use it on that, but. Oh, and now I can play Shivan Dragon, let's do it. That is so cool. And I can attack the Cockatrice, because I've got Sheevan as a blocker. I kind of wish that the AI wouldn't make these mistakes, right? I'd rather have it when you play on top mode that the AI is also like super challenging. Uh, okay, let's go. I think, can I already win it now? Let's attack with the Shiva and see what he does. I think I cannot win at 18 is too high, but I'm getting close. Oh, I could have pumped it. Oh, hmm. Stupid. Um, I could cast a huge fireball. Let's do that. Two, four, six. Yeah, I'm done. One. Two, three, and four, and then deal six damage to the fiend. I 
Should I just go all in attack? Oh, wow. This is Cormus Bell. So cool. This is really cool. I love it. I love it, man. I think it's super cool. Um, okay, I got to think about this. I can attack with two factories. The dragon, the cockatrice, the badger, and the elves. He's got three blockers. So he'll block my biggest creatures, which is cockatrice, sheev, and a factory. So he'll take five damage. He Ooh, he'll survive, actually. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll just attack with the sheep. If I would have pumped uh, the Sheevan earlier, I wouldn't be in this uh, situation. It's my own fault. Let's play a Soul Ring just because we can. Uh, okay, so I'm actually kind of expecting him to attack Fulan with the Swamps. He's got two, four, seven. One, two, three, no, six. Okay, okay, there's a Soul Net. That's a cool combination, Soul Net with those lands. Ooh, he's actually not attacking. Okay. Okay, whatever, man. Oh, fire. I gotta play. I gotta do this. This is too much fun. I apologize beforehand. One, two, three, four. This is also when you play Living Plane, right? Living Plane Pyrotechnic. I know I'm giving you life. I understand. I understand. But it was just too much fun. Um, Let's attack. And I've got one mana left, and then I can deal exactly seven, if I'm not mistaken. Or eight, I mean. Hey, there we go. Give me the cards. Okay, let's go back. Let's return. Where did that guy come from? Uh, change anti-card, Sylvan. Uh, I don't want to lose Sylvan, but I'll, I'll challenge you. Play first. Okay. Okay, so I've got forest into Lanarer Elves, and then yeah, hopefully draw into Untamed Wilds to ramp a little bit further, or go strip mine. That's also an option. Lots of options. I mean, in green and red, you don't really have a very good three drop. I guess in, in red, you've got Granite Gargoyle, which is which is decent. Um, I'm gonna go Mountain, and next turn, I'm gonna play, um, gonna play a Scimitar. Or I might as well play a Spider, I don't know. I do new. I could go fireball. This is very tempting. I think I'm going to do fireball because I could fireball for four and hit two targets. Targets two for one. Done. I am pretty impressed with the computer that understands complicated cards like fireball. I mean, that had to take a lot of coding, you know. This game is from the 90s, right? And it's pretty impressive. Is it 97, I think? Oh, Wall of Bone! Okay, so I gotta play Flyers, eh? Lana Ralph, I'm gonna go Scimitar. <laughs> Untigged Wilds, sure. Mountain. Uh, I'm going to attack him for one whole point. Let's do it. Put him on 18. Man, I need, I'm in desperate need of some card draw. Oh, I should play, I should have played Nevernose Disc. Okay. Because, why Nevernose Disc? Because I'm going to wait for the right moment. Well, why would I actually want to? I wanted to say I'm going to strip his swamp, use my disc, blow up the wall of bone, but I'm forgetting that I'm then also blowing up four of my creatures. That's a super bad plan. That's the worst plan ever. Wow, he 
it's not doing anything. Let's see if I can find some. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, let's animate this dude. And let's just attack with some creatures. I mean, he can block one, right? He's not even gonna block, really? Are you afraid of a giant growth? Guess you are. I think in your in your position, I mean you had black open, right? You should have just blocked. Just block one of the creatures. Okay. Um This card's pretty annoying. Um you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow up the board. I'm going to blow up the board. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hey, there we go. So blowing up the board, uh, animating. So going to play an ice storm on the swamp. I'm going to attack. Wow, I'm not drawing anything. Ooh, I could blow up the Jembazar. Wait. Attack. I mean, I'd rather have a card in hand and kind of like fake that I have something than, um, you know, play out that force at the moment. Oh, Phantom Monster. Uh-oh. God, was it was it a mistake to... Maybe it was. Let's quickly destroy the island before it starts casting more stuff. I mean, the disc was a bit much, right? Just to get rid of one creature. Now I'm in trouble. Then again, I mean, he attacks me for three, but he's quite low. Oh, look at this, a Sheevan Dragon which I can cast because of this extra force. Shivan Dragon! There we go, problem solved. I like, this why I like magic. Problem is solved with, with Shivan Dragon. Again, the new art, by the way, which I'm not happy about. Anyway, attacking. Okay, let's play Factory, pass turn. Probably should have played Factory, also attacked with uh, the other Factory. Oh no, I forget to animate. Oh, if I would have... Oh, can I kill him? No, I can't. Oh, so stupid. I, I could have won two different ways. I could have animated both factories in Shiva and attack for nine, but I didn't. I could have played Untamed Wilds, pick up a red so I can pump it to eight, but I didn't. Why? I mean... Magic is difficult for me. Magic. Magic is hard. Let's see. What are you going to do? Hmm. Actually pretty decent. It's not going to... Oh, you're fireball. Okay. You know what? I'm going to kill the cockatrice because I want to win with the sheep. I want to win with the dragon. Hey, there we go. A blood moon. That's interesting. Okay. Accept tribute for your mercy. Sure. Um, yeah, secrets from the White Castle. Life loss carried over, remaining life added to next duel. Elder Landworm permanently in effect, east of Shandor. Okay. Okay, the people are glad you got rid of the pesky nether fiend you are rewarded with. A land. Oh, yeah, lands. That was the thing. Um. Island of Vakwak is cool. Shall I just do Island of Vakwak? Why not? Let's do Island of Vakwak. It's a cool card. Um, I think for today I'm gonna stop because my 
You can't see that, of course, but my laptop's getting really warm, uh, really hot, so I have to save the game, uh, probably start deleting some files or checking or just turning it off for a moment. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, gonna quit now because of that. Let me first save. Uh, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the show, as always, please leave a like, a comment, and share it on your socials. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And then, of course, you already know what's coming. You can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks for all the information. For now, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. See you later. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Just think it's a Sumba Kazik!